New developments and a story we first told you about concerning an Atlanta public school high school student who overcame incredible obstacles just to graduate. Yeah, yesterday the Booker T. Washington high school student who was homeless the last two years graduated. CBS Atlanta's Bernard Watson, who first brought you this story, has this inspiring update. Sunday morning at Booker T. Washington High School and hundreds of seniors are lining up for an academic awards ceremony. Now once y'all get inside, I want y'all to hold that noise down. All these students are smart and special, but maybe none more so than Fred Dukes. With a 3.0 GPA and an award for scoring a 24 on his ACT, he's plenty smart. And he's accomplished all that despite being homeless and without family support. Y'all stand on the first row. I stuck with it. Like, no, I you didn't give up. Fred stayed in Atlanta when his stepmom moved back to South it's Carolina so for a job. That meant going it alone and staying with whatever friend he could. We, we kind of compromised to where uh, I could lay my head on his back porch when I needed to. Last Christmas, things hit rock bottom. He ended up staying at a homeless shelter downtown and nearly lost everything. I had gotten into an altercation with a couple of other people that were here saying that they wanted to take my stuff, my belongings. Fred sold candy in the hallways of school to make money until he was caught. So he went to meet a friend for a job, and even that went bad. Fred's meeting went a little longer than expected. And as a result, he missed the last train from Lindbergh Station. With no money for a cab and no one to call, he did the only thing he could do. He walked to Oakland City in Southwest Atlanta. He started at midnight and arrived at 3.30 in the morning. He traveled 10 dangerous miles. It's a, it's a lot, it's a lot for, it's a lot for an adult. And then to see a child do this, oh yeah, yeah. Leanna Lloyd is Fred's science teacher. He would just tell me stuff and I, you know, I sit there with a straight face. But then I end up like this after he leaves, cause, he has done a lot, been through a lot. But he never said he was giving up, ever. Friendship helped Fred make it through. We had similar things going on at home, it's bad or good, so you know, we can help each other out because we understand each other's issues. Right. Wednesday evening, a packed house at the Civic Center. Ms. Johnson, how you doing? Hugs and tears all around. In a little while, the moment of truth. 6.30, 6.30, 6.30, walk across the stage. His time has arrived. Frederick Dukes. After two years of trials and tribulations, Fred is a graduate. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm a family baby. <laughs> Do not let your situation make you who you are. Like I said before, it's the decisions that you make that make you the person who you are. In Midtown Atlanta, Bernard Watson, CBS Atlanta News.